In this problem, we're going to convert 497, which is in base 10, to base 5. And we're going to do it by just repeatedly dividing by 5 and looking for remainders. Okay, so the first step is you take 497 and you divide it by 5. And we care about the remainder. Okay, so if you just use a calculator and you type it in, you get 99.4. So that means that 5 goes into 497 99 times. So if you do 99 times 5, and you put that in your calculator, you see it's 495. So now you can find the remainder. You see, so 5 goes into 497 uh, 99 times, and what's left over? Well, you just subtract these numbers. 497 minus 495. So the remainder is 2. So I'm going to write it, I'm going to write it over here, 2. Then you do it again, but you do it with this number here. So 99 divided by 5. So if you put this in your calculator, you get 19.8. So again, we're looking for the remainder. This means that 5 goes into 99 evenly 19 times. There's the fractional part left over. We want to figure out what that is. So what you do is you do 19 times 5 in your calculator. Just all calculator work. This is 95. Then you subtract. So you get 4. So the remainder is 4. Then you do it again. And again, you take this number, 19, divided by 5. So this should be like 3 point something. Let's see. Yep, 3.8. So five, uh, 3 <laughs> times 5. Right, you take this number, multiply it by 5, you get 15. Then you subtract. So you get 4. So the remainder is 4. Then you do it again. So you take this number and divide it by 5. 3 divided by 5. Now, this is going to give you 0.6 in the calculator. Okay. So what's the, uh, what's the remainder? Well, in this case, the remainder is just 3. Okay, Because um, 5 goes into uh, 3 0 times, and the remainder is 3. So 3, right? It doesn't go in at all. So the whole thing is the remainder. right? And now what you do is you just read this backwards. So 3, 4, 4, 2. 3, 4, 4, 2. And then don't forget to put the 5. So 497 in base 10 is equal to this number in base 5. I hope this video has been helpful.